three sea level raptors and three vacuum raptors, total thrust at 1,500 tons, that is what Starship is working with. And with this number, we already know it's one of the most powerful vehicles. But for an ambitious guy like Elon, that's still not enough. Recently, Musk revealed that he wants to up his monster's power by adding even three more additional Raptor engines, increasing the total number of Starship's engines from six to nine. So, how does this upgrade change Starship? Well, stay tuned. We're going to dive into this and lots more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The Starship, SpaceX's in-development rocket designed to carry humans to Mars, is growing larger and more daring than ever before. Starship has two stages. First stage is Super Heavy, which has 33 Raptor engines that generates a thrust of up to 7,600 tons or 17 million pounds. Twice the stage of the legendary Saturn V moon rocket. Its upper stage, designed to transport both cargo and crew, is equipped with six Raptor engines. When the Starship was launched, it became the largest rocket ever to have taken flight in the world. However, seemingly not satisfied with Starship's power, Elon still wants to increase Starship's power up to 9,000 tons. In fact, this monster can reach this power when it's fitted with 42 Raptor engines, 33 Raptor engines on Super Heavy, and 9 engines on Starship. And Elon also hinted at increasing the number of engines through a July tweet when he shared an image of the Starship featuring six engines, captioned as three more engines for the meaning of life. This right there underscored his genuine potential to take the upper stage of the Starship to the next level by increasing from six to nine engines, thereby augmenting the rocket's thrust. It'll be one of a thousand upgrade options for the rocket that Elon had previously disclosed after completion of the Starship's maiden orbital flight. The idea of increasing the number of Raptor engines has been under consideration since the early stages of Starship's development. By the end of 2021, Elon subtly hinted at this concept through a series of tweets saying, with that, Starship's basically begging for an extra three engines, and ships being upgraded to nine engines, three sea level gimballing, six vacuum fixed with an increased propellant load. These indications from Elon underscore that the notion of expanding the engine count has been under consideration for a considerable period, making it a more reliable prospect for enhancing the Starship's capabilities. However, at that time, it's possible that the Starship might not have been technically prepared or sufficiently stable in terms of power for such a bold upgrade. Currently, the Starship's undergone a successful flight and numerous tests, and its capabilities have been substantially refined. This makes it an opportune moment for Elon to fulfill his long-held desire to upgrade the number of engines on Starship's upper stage. In fact, adding another three Raptor engines to Starship, boosting the count from six to nine, will require stretching its tanks. Optimal 9-engine Starship tanks would be stretched about 25% to store an additional 300 tons of cryogenic liquid oxygen and methane. That upgraded Starship would have a liftoff mass close to 1,600 tons and stand about 55 meters tall, 10% taller than the current ships. At stage separation, close to vacuum, a stretched Starship with three sea-level optimized Raptors and six vacuum-optimized Raptors should produce at least 2,000 tons of thrust and possibly more than 2,250 tons depending on engine performance. At that upper level of thrust, Starship on upper stage would be just 10% less powerful than the first stage of Falcon Heavy, the most powerful operational rocket in the world. Regardless of its thrust, dimension, or weight, what matters most is how a stretched 9-engine Starship would impact that overall rocket's launch performance. If unofficial modelers are to be believed, the results are significant. Compared to a normal Starship with a 6-engine upper stage and 33-engine booster, the stretch ship could theoretically boost the amount of payload the rocket can launch to low Earth orbit from about 150 tons to 220 tons or more, an almost 50% improvement than a shorter 6-engine Starship. If those estimates are accurate, upgrading Starship with 9 Raptors and stretching its tanks is a no-brainer. It might slow development and make all nine engine ships cost a substantial fraction more, but a 50% improvement in payload performance would significantly improve the efficiency of Starship's more ambitious Moon and Mars launch profiles, which require numerous orbital refuelings. A 50% payload increase would allow SpaceX to complete most refueling tasks more efficiently, quickly, and cheaply. Even if the upgrade plans mean that all Starships will be stretched and carry nine Raptors, Fully refueling the new Starship variant in low Earth orbit 
could require seven tanker launches instead of eight to ten. If SpaceX doesn't mind maintaining multiple distinct Starship variants, which appears to be the case, then ships that are exclusively dependent on refueling, Moon and Mars landers in particular, could stay at their current size with around 1,200 tons of propellant storage and six Raptors. A fleet of upgraded Starships could thus refuel their smaller siblings with just five to six tanker launches. However, there's a good chance that the extra mass required to stretch Starship, approximately four tons, is minor enough that SpaceX will stretch all Starship variants instead. In fact, for variants like NASA's HLS Moonlander and future Mars-bound starships, which depend entirely on refueling to reach their destinations, stretch tanks, and more propellant storage could increase the amount of payload they could send to the Moon, Mars, and other high-energy destinations by quite a bit. On the other hand, to augment the thrust of the starship, Elon could also enhance the performance of the Raptor engines themselves. Looks like we can increase Raptor thrust by around 20% to reach 9,000 tons, 20 million pounds of force at sea level, Elon revealed in a statement made on X in July. This revelation came as a response to a tweet stating 33 Raptor engines on super heavy, 9 engines on Starship, 42 is the meaning of life. This could also be interpreted as a hint toward boosting the power of the Raptor engines. Raptors are fueled by methalox, a combination of cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen, which is a unique fuel in the rocket industry. The current prototypes of the Starship are predominantly equipped with the Raptor 2 engines. This version represents the second iteration of the Raptor engine, which has undergone upgrades and refinements compared to its initial release. However, SpaceX is still in the process of developing further iteration of the Raptor engine aimed at increasing thrust, reducing weight, and lowering costs even more. This iteration, known as Raptor 3, was subjected to testing by SpaceX in May, yielding remarkably impressive thrust results. Raptor V3 just achieved 350 bar chamber pressure, 269 tons of thrust, Musk stated on X. Starship Super Heavy Booster has 33 Raptors, so a total thrust of 8,877 tons, or 19.5 million pounds, he added. By comparison, the closest engine to the Raptor that uses a phase combustion cycle with methane and oxygen is the BE-4 engine, which is expected to produce around 245 tons of thrust. The Special Version 3 surpasses the rocket engine such as the RS-25 with 190 tons and RD-180 with two combustion chambers. Furthermore, the Raptor 3 boasts a remarkable 18% increase in power compared to the Raptor 2. The Raptor 2 already holds a thrust superiority of 25% over Raptor 1 and a weight reduction of 20%. SpaceX has even devised plans to eliminate unnecessary components and further reduce the weight of the Raptor engine. In the future, they might remove gimbling on some engines and even forego the engine's shield plate if that's possible. On top of the thrust augmentation, there's still the potential for SpaceX to continue shedding an extra 200 kilograms of weight. This means the reducing the rocket's weight to 8 tons for the Starship, a truly undeniable leap. In general, the specifics of the Raptor engine's future developments are still uncertain, but Elon once said, there's a tremendous bias against taking risks. Everyone's trying to optimize their ass covering. This means as long as even a 1% chance of risk remains, SpaceX is likely to find ways to develop and upgrade while striving for the highest possible levels of reliability. SpaceX knows no bounds, only perseverance and relentless effort. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments below because your feedback is very important to us and it ultimately helps us make better videos for you to watch. And we do thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.